two patellar glides. So we can think about a medial and lateral glide and a superior and inferior glide. What we will always want to be concerned about with a knee, right, is it, especially if we're going to mobile the patella, is we're always thinking about hypomobility and hypermobility. During your ob objective exam, you'll come to know some of that. So until you know that, make sure you have a lot of contact of your hands. You're going to use the outside part of your thumb to provide your medial glide. So I'm going to provide my medial glide. You can see that the, the edge of the patella, the medial edge of the patella is moving medial. All my other hands are just there to support that. Lateral glide, I'm gonna come in with my fingertips and I'm gonna push the patella out lateral, but I'm gonna have my, still might have my thumbs braced on the lateral aspect so that I know where that stopping point is and the patient has more comfort with that as well. So I can go in and do my joint play where I can go medial to lateral to see really how does that patella move um, on your patient. Then you can do superior and inferior. You're gonna get onto the inferior pole and you can do that with your pad of your index finger and your thumb, again, kind of coming up into that. You can just do an inferior glide or you can just do a, uh, sorry, a superior glide. So let's just make sure that's our superior glide. Then you can do an inferior glide or on a really, if so you have a really hypomobile knee, you might, use, might need to use your web spacing where you come up and through and you drive the patella up into that superior aspect or you drive the patella into that inferior aspect using your web spacing. So depending on what you feel on your objective tests, you can roll through multiple different ways in which you can choose how to mob the patella given what the patient might need.